Ugh, my house has exploded again. There's just stuff everywhere. And we're supposed to have dryer repair come today. So not only do we need to tackle what's happening here, but I also need to clear space so he can get like in here. As it is, it's a tight laundry room um, area, but you know, it is, it's not that bad. We just, we have piles of dirty clothes here because my dryer has not been working, so we've not been able to wash. Um, my poor little man, his stuffed animal got spilled on yesterday, so that needs to be clean. And then we just have stuff kind of just stuffed back here. <laughs> stuff is stuffed. Yep. So this space needs to be cleaned up too. I don't know. Can I do it all? We have like a big window when they're supposed to come. So the first time frame um, would be in two hours. So I think the first thing to do is clean up in here um, in case he does come within the first, you know, you know, they give you a time frame from like 12 to five or whatever, whatever. So our window is 10 to one and it's eight o'clock now. Um, my heater just kicked on. So I hope that's not too loud, but uh, you know, they never do unless you're counting on them not coming at the beginning of the time frame. Then that's when they're going to show up. So I'm going to clean and then they're going to come at like a quarter to one. But it's okay because it needs to be cleaned up anyways. Let's clean up. Honestly, with the dirty clothes, I'm just going to scooch them out and put them in that area that's already kind of a mess because I'm not going to take them upstairs put them in like hiding in one of the rooms and the room all the way back downstairs just because he's gonna fix the dryer or or she um no actually he they gave me the name um anyway um because clearly the repair person will know that uh i have laundry backed up because my dryer doesn't work right hopefully they show some grace these are donations um, when we go through clothes and as I'm washing, if they don't fit them anymore, we go ahead and wash them and then I put them in these bags for donation. I actually have a donation box in the garage going, so I'm going to take these and put those out there. Okay. I have some little helpers helping with this area here. Their job is to put away um, what they know has a home. So we got some puzzles we're putting away. It's hard. It's hard to snap. You need help? Oh, I think it's already snapped. You did it. It is. This, it gets out. Ta-da! Good job. And then um, we're cleaning up. They're putting away stuff that goes in this corner because that's stuff they can do. So I've enlisted their help. Here's where I just put our dirty clothes for now um, until the um, dryer is fixed. And then let's go finish tackling. I'm going to tackle up here. So I have some stuff, these, a couple of empty ones. My kids were going to do like an art project with them, but I think they've abandoned that. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it away. So we're not keeping stuff. This shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's just boxes and stuff, but I think I can like push it back a little further just for today, um, to clean this up. cleaner but I did kind of push some stuff towards the back and organize it in a way that makes sense to us so that's fine I'm gonna um I was going through the stuff here these are clothes that need to be washed so I'm just gonna put them in the dirty clothes um pile that we have over there and that'll take care of this then I'll give this a wipe down this is just a stepping stool that doesn't need to be in there um and then he can get in here I think easily over here I have some more dirty clothes and then I have some decorative had some decorative crystal pieces in here um they're just yellow little yellow crystal stars um i i clearly don't know what to do with this that's why they were in here i still don't know what to do with them and i'm kind of just tempted to put them back up there but i don't know where do you house decorating stuff like do you just have because this is not a particular season this is just i guess decor kind of thing 
I don't know. Let me know, guys. Where do you keep your decorative stuff when you're just changing it up? For now, yep, I'm seriously just going to put it back up here. So we'll just put it there in the corner for now. This is a spare one because this one is almost out. Um, but I did throw away the extra bottles, um, the extra hand wash bottles. So I'm going to take care of this little mess. And then I think this room should be done except it needs to sleep. Okay, so this space is done. You can see I left this little guy here in the corner so he can be washed, but we've just swept it up. We took the stuff out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this hanging on the side. It's where we hang their snow stuff after they come out from playing. Um, not much changed up here, not anything drastically anyways. So, but at least he can get in and um, do what he needs to do and hopefully have a little bit more room. It is a small space, but Hopefully he's got some room in here. Maybe one day I'll put a little bit of decor in here, but not today. This space is already starting to look a little bit better. I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> but we did get some stuff picked up here. And then we also got some of the stuff that was here picked up, some of this put away. Um, so we just, we have a couple of little more piles, but we're gonna eat breakfast really. So really not much has gotten done because <laughs> I started watching videos, but let me tell you why I started watching videos. I have there, I had like a little project that was going on. It's some oxygen absorbers and then some Mylar bags. I had bought some powdered dry milk and I wanted to store some um, dry powdered milk in the Mylar bags because I had bought some in bulk and we weren't gonna use it all right away but that's why I watched the videos. So I started watching the videos, trying to figure out how to get that done. And it kind of just feels like this is not a project that's gonna be quick and easy. In fact, as soon as I open up those um, oxygen absorbers, I need to move quickly with that project. So since I, um, this is gonna be like a different project, I think I'm gonna do it a different day. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it away for now, um, and then I'll do it another day maybe by chance when my husband is home so he can kind of help with the kids or help me with the project if I need to do it because I have powdered dry milk and then once I open up those oxygen absorbers, I might as well um, store a couple of other things. So we also have flour that we've bought in bulk and I think putting a couple of those away in the Mylar bags might be smart. So if you wanna see that video where we go ahead and do that, let me know and I'll record that for you. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this away, except I did notice that one of these bags, this oxygen absorber is like the bag is tight and you can tell it's absorbing. This one though is loose and ha this one here has like a spot on it. So I'm wondering if maybe something, it got stepped on or something because it is just on the floor. My kids are running around. So I'm gonna open this bag, put the good ones in a jar just to get them stored for now. And then I'm also going to cut out this little eye indicator here um, so that I know if they're still good. You want it to be pink if it's good and then it'll go blue if it's not. So I'm going to get that part done first and then finish putting away stuff. The dryer has been fixed, yay! I'm thankful it was just a really simple, easy fix. So that is already done. It is only 10 minutes to 12. Um, I probably should do laundry now that the dryer is fixed, but I am hungry. So the kiddos are eating lunch. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Um, I'm gonna make myself, I have a little bit of leftover soup, so I'm gonna have that for lunch. And then I think I am going to um, do a really small light workout because I need to move my body. Um, I, need, I need to get that little bit of workout in. Haven't worked out since Monday and it's now Friday. So I need to do that. And then we'll come back to seeing what else we can get done in the house. Here. Okay, I just did 30 minutes of like random hill stuff on the treadmill because I wanted, I needed to do something. But I have some romaine lettuce here that I just washed and then spent through the salad spinner to dry off. And then I have this, um, it's a 50-50 mix of spring greens or something like that. I'm just not grown up enough to eat a salad just of this. You can, I'm just not, like I said, grown up enough to do that, which is why I have romaine. So I'm gonna do a mix of those things. I also have some mini sweet bell peppers. And then in this thing here is some seasoned quinoa that I've done. Um, so then I think I'm just gonna throw together a quick salad and have um, like a hummus kind of dressing. And then, I don't know, I'm already getting lazy. It's only one o'clock, so let's see how much, more, how much more we can get done today. Here's my finished salad. I went ahead and we have some green beans and corn that didn't get finished. And so I added that in 
as well. I'm gonna sit here with my oldest son. He's got his books out over there. Um, he didn't finish a paper, and so I'm gonna sit down with him and go over, he needs a rough draft, and so we're gonna go over um, an outline together and, and get that started for him. So a little bit of homeschooling today. Um, today's not our fun Friday. Today is what we call our fun Friday. So typically we don't have um, such formal schoolwork, but because he didn't get it finished up, that's kind of the rule for fun Friday. If you don't get the um, formal schoolwork done during the week, then you've got to get it done today. So we're gonna finish that up together. pile of things we're no longer um, needing or using for my youngest son um, so I'm gonna box that up and give it to my nephew and then I have some things that he's not using for this section of math but I think would be good for them to kind of use um, on our fun Fridays for educational type games and practice so what our fun Fridays were so originally supposed to be was um, like field trips that we went on or um, we did a couple educational games or movie studies, that type of thing. It has taken a drastic turn and is more like um, a just do whatever you want day. So almost a, or almost uh, an extra Saturday. So <laughs> we need to get back into our, I'd like us to get back into um, the educational game plan, field trips and documentary movie study type thing. So I have some like math games here that I've pulled that I think will still be fun for the kids to do. But like I said, it would be um, just more practice. It's not, it doesn't go um, in his set curriculum right now. So that's what this pile is. I think ideally what I'd like to do is take one of the drawers I have here on this side. I have these like um, I'll show you. So I have these um, like just pool drawer, simple things. I, we got these at Aldi a few years back. Um, and I would like, ideally, I think, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking, is to do like a math um, bin and maybe a language arts bin and something like that. And then they can pick out educational games from there. But right now it's gonna probably be a project for another day. Ooh, I see an empty drawer. So let's put that in there. Gonna be a project for another day where I go through all this and that is something that I plan on doing. I need to eventually go through all of our homeschool curriculum including the drawers and pull out things that we're no longer using that they've kind of grown out of um, and that kind of stuff but for now I just wanted to tidy up this area. I'm kind of losing steam to be honest I'm getting a little bit of a headache. It's already three o'clock still working with my oldest son on his outline but he's kind of now we've gone to the point where I can just kind of check in with him um, we had to take a little bit of a detour um, in the middle of our conversation, but that's okay. We're just going to keep chugging along and see what we can get done today. I had meant for it to be a like clean with me, motivating thing, but you know what? Sometimes that is life and sometimes the projects don't get done all in a day and not every day is this super duper um, productive cleaning day. And yeah, so it's just going to be more of a real life. This is what I can do when I can get stuff done kind of thing. That's gonna be a really long title, huh? Okay, let's finish off this space at least. All right, so this is as good as it gets today, but it is definitely better than before, um, and I'm good with that. So I just started putting a box together here of donations um, for because I still need to go through all of this before I can send that box out. I could send a smaller box out. I got the floor all tidied up. That's a win. 
Um, it's not perfect by any means, but it is picked up. Like I said, it isn't perfect, but it is better and that's good enough for today. I'm glad that we got it tidied up. One less thing to do this weekend. I will eventually go through this stuff back here. Sorry for the glare on my glasses, <laughs> but I will go eventually through this stuff here um, and I'll bring you along as I declutter that maybe, hopefully, I'll remember to bring you along to do that. Um, but that's it, it was just kind of a real life, um, not a full day in the life, but a real life um, when you mean to get up and clean and you just do what you can. Maybe that'll be the super long title. I don't know, but it's what we got done. I hope you liked this video. If you did, would you be sure to give it a thumbs up? Or I hope you like this attempt at cleaning. Would you give it a thumbs up? If you aren't already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Check out a few of our other videos around here. We talk about everything from homeschooling to homemaking, all the things in between. Lots of um, planning stuff, some of my faith stuff, all kinds of stuff, really. So, and if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for hanging out with us and becoming part of our YouTube family. I really, really appreciate it. And so does my family. Thanks again so much for watching.